Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a massive meal prep. I want to share with you guys I what I feel is the best way to, for success on this, you know, wellness, weight loss, fat loss, whatever you call it, journey. Today we are meal prepping. This is my list. This is what we got going. So we got a lot of proteins and some sides. This is going to be one of our sides. I'm allowed pretty much anything, but we're going to make some potatoes. And instead of buying them, um, I decided I was going to make them myself. I got a big bag of Idaho potatoes for two bucks at the grocer, and we're going to make homemade French fries. This is also going to be a really important way to help you guys save money. Um, prepping and avoiding eating out is going to be the key to success, especially in these times. But look at these fries. I got this little fry cutter from Amazon, and I didn't even use the whole bag of fries. And you're going to see how much um, you're going to be able to eat. This Friday seasoning is from Sam's Club. It's very, very good. Go easy on it because it's a little salty. And we're going to use some nonstick spray and we're going to spray down our air fryer and our french fries to help this seasoning stick. This is the Ninja Foodie. I haven't been using it for a while and I brought it out for these french fries in particular and I forgot how much I love it. So it's going to be in rotation again. But yeah, so we're going to start on the french fries first. We're going to make about three or four... Uh, batches because I didn't want to overcrowd the like pan and I wanted them to get nice and crispy and they came out so good and believe it or not you're going to be so surprised at how much potato you can get in comparison to other carb sources. Next side is going to be some asparagus. It's a favorite of ours. I bake mine. I have my oven preheated at four and a quarter and I line mine. I put mine on a lined foil pan and this is from, uh, these are a big batch of them or whatever. So um, this is some non-stick, this is olive oil spray. You know, I like to spray all this stuff down to help the seasoning stick. We're just going to season it with salt, pepper, and garlic. And then I cut up some fresh lemon and put that on top. If you guys were interested in a sample meal plan, this is super basic, just to kind of give you guys maybe an idea of what your meal should look like, what your portions could look like. If you're wondering what's the difference between 100 grams of rice in comparison if you wanted to do potato instead or pasta instead, I am going to type out a sample meal plan. This is just a very basic meal plan. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a type down below. If you guys want to see more in-depth ones and if you are interested in maybe a carb cycling alternative, let me know. Asparagus are in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. If you guys like them a little crunchy, take them out sooner. Um, these are some sirloin tip steaks. These suckers were thick, honey. So I wanted to slice them down. Look, I'm not my husband, okay? I, I'm not that great with the knife, but I try, okay? He was relaxing today. It was his day off, and I didn't want to bother him. So you could see, like, it came out pretty thin. I like them that way. Um, I just throw them on a paper plate and call it a day. Now, I will say I go through and I clean up any. This one had, like, a tendon or something in it, and I make sure I clean up all that stuff. Because when I go and weigh out my food, I don't want to weigh out a, you know, half ounce of tendon that I'm not going to be able to eat. I want to make sure that I'm eating everything that I weigh out. So going through, this one was really big. I ended up getting three steaks out of that and then went through and cleaned up, you know, the stuff that I didn't want in there. And then the little chunks I gave to my buddy boy, Benny, because he was my partner in cooking today. And that's what our steaks look like. Now we're going to go to the stove. Spray with nonstick spray. You're going to want to get your pan hot, okay? Sprinkle some water on it. It starts popping. You're good to go. Gibson seasoning salt, great for steaks. You can go overboard. I just do one layer on the top, and I don't do anything on the bottom. And I just try to be as mindful with it because last time I did it, I over-seasoned, and it was salty, and it was not good. So like I said, making sure the pan is nice and hot, and then just putting everything on the hot pan. With all my protein, you're going to see one thing in common. I use a thermometer. It just works. So for my steaks, I like mine a little bit medium rear. I pull them off around 135, 140 and let them sit and do that. That's kind of the way we like them around here. If you like them rare, if you like them well done, eat chicken and save your money. But no, I'm just joking. Whatever you like. So around 140, 145, 130, something around like that. Uh, next up is going to be some tilapia. Mind you, as I'm cooking, I am cleaning. Okay, we're using the same frying pan. I'm just cleaning that sucker out. Okay, I don't have a dishwasher and I got a small kitchen. So using some tilapia, I had the idea of something like the tortilla encrusted tilapia that Costco sells. I love that. So I use this chili lime seasoning that I got from like Home Goods or something, and I season the tilapia with it. Now I know someone's going to say tilapia is the worst for you. I'm not a fishy person. 
And, but I do like having a uh, tilapia because it weighs so light that I can get a ton for my portion size. Value meaning is key, huh, my guys, okay? So if you don't like tilapia, that's on you. Eat orange roughy or flounder. I don't care. This is what I like. But nonetheless, season it with that chili lime seasoning. And then once it's cooked up on one side, I squirt a little uh, fresh lime juice on it just to give it a little pizzazz. Just because you're eating on a meal plan and in a slight deficit doesn't mean your stuff has to be boring, okay? Keep it interesting. Season your food. Let it taste good. Enjoy this. Next protein is our favorite, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've showed you guys multiple times, but I kind of go through and I cut off like that. I don't know if that's skin or whatever it is. I cut it off. Because I don't, I don't, I think it's skin. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it on my chicken. So I kind of try to clean up as much as I can. Back to the air fryer. I haven't used the air fryer for chicken in a minute, and honey, it came out so good. Kinder's lemon pepper. It's delicious. I will not buy it again. It has cane sugar in it. I didn't check it out, but it's good though. It's good, but if you're watching your sugars, don't get this one, but it's real scrumptious. So I'm going to stick to Lori's from now on, but it is really good. I love Kinder seasonings, but this pissed me off with the cane sugar. Like, why is your cane sugar and lemon pepper? Anyways, air fryer. This is at whatever temperature it suggests on the thing. I think it was like 390 for 25 minutes. And I think I only ended up cooking it for like 17 minutes or something like that. And I tempt it and I like to get my chicken at about 175, 180. Once it hits that temp, I pull it out and throw it in a pan. But also with this air fryer, cleanup is super minimal. Like it looks crazy in there, but the cleanup is really nice. But look at how good and crispy everything turned out. It was the best. I was so excited. I was like, hell yes. Um, you're probably wondering who eats this. We all do. My kids, my husband, I said he eats on the same kind of meal plan as I do, but his varies a little bit different because he's a man and he's a little bit bigger. So Next up is mushrooms. I wanted mushrooms with my steak. You could also use this and throw some onion in there, but um, I don't eat onion right now because it does cause an inflammatory response in me. Um, Leo does, but I didn't have any. So anyways, these are baby Bella mushrooms. I'm going to cut them up and we're going to throw them in a pan, pan of spray with nonstick spray. Okay, so you're going to see how many mushrooms I throw in there and you'll be like, that's a lot. Mushrooms when cooked down really shrink, okay? These baby Bellas... It had a good amount to them, but still they do shrink. So I'm going to add some salt just to kind of help pull out the moisture from the mushrooms. And then you kind of cook them down. And then I'll add a little bit of garlic powder. I love garlic powder. Again, season your food. Let it taste good. You don't have to eat boiled chicken breast, okay? Make this interesting because it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet, right? Anyways, look at how good they look. They were so good. And I think another thing about mushrooms is, is a lot goes, a, you know, a little goes a long way. So it's really, really good. Um, and I make this every week. This is my cucumber salad. Now, if you wanted to add some olive oil, you could, or avocado oil, whatever you use. But I just stick to plain vinegar, and it doesn't bother me. Um, the kids eat it. Leo does not. Leo does not like vinegar at all. But the kids eat it. It's really good. And this is one of those things that you can snack out throughout the whole day. Cucumbers are and pickles are basically just water and you could snack on them. So here is the dressing. I use one of these little mason jars and they are um, lined by ml, so I think it's 100 ml per line. I'm gonna take some rice vinegar. I love rice vinegar for salad dressings. Again, if you wanted to add olive oil, you could, but because I'm in this deficit, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping it as simple as possible with the most flavor. So I'm using rice vinegar to 100 ml and then I'm gonna add uh, white vinegar um, if you guys had red vinegar, I stay away from balsamic because balsamic has sugar in it. Um, but if you had red wine vinegar, whatever else you wanted to use, you can use that as well. So 100 mLs of each, and then I will um, throw everything into this jar. Now, I like this to have a little bit of a kick, if you will, okay? So <clears throat> I will also add in some Dijon mustard. I like the spice from a Dijon mustard. I think it's really good. I think it makes it kind of interesting. I also add in some sweetness to kind of balance out the bitterness from the vinegar, the spice from the Dijon, and then a little sweetness from the uh, the sweetener. I only use stevia. Again, if you wanted to make this like a vinaigrette and keep this in your fridge for like salad dressings, you could do that. Um, it's a little harsh for me to have as a salad dressing. Because once you throw this with the cucumbers, the cucumbers will also emit a lot of water. And the longer this salad sits, the better it gets, okay? 
and it's it kind of waters down the vinegar. It's not like super duper strong. Um, I add in garlic and pepper and shake that sucker up and pour it over there and I let it sit. Um, it's You can eat it right away, but again, if you make it on Monday, by Friday, it's going to be your favorite. It's that good and you could add it to all your meals. Again, the meal plan will be listed down below. Um, cucumbers, pickles, sugar-free popsicles, not fudgesicles, sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free jello are all things that you can have as a kind of snack if you're feeling a little bit hungry in between meals. Um, again, let me know down below if you want to see any more of these. I'm not a dietitian or coach or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you what I've learned. And this is what our cooking ended up with. We have French fries, mushrooms. French fries were so good. So, so good, guys. Like, I hit it out of the park with those. Asparagus, so crunchy, so delicious. Again, a family favorite. Um, we have the tilapia. If you guys wanted to do like uh, fish tacos for a night, it's a great option. Again, you can use whatever fish you want. And we have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, no chicken breast here. And then we have the steak as well. Um, if you wanted to make another portion of like a fattier choice of meat, because you are going to get a fattier choice of protein once a day. I do the sirloin tip. You could also do like a salmon as well. So keep that in mind if you wanted to have a little bit of a, you know, mix up. But this and there's our cucumber salad. Let me know what you guys think and if this video was helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, friends.